what is going on everybody and welcome back to another video i want to first start off the video by thanking each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel we are at 5200 and that is amazing close to 5300 and you know people say oh like you're always keeping count yeah i keep in count because i like to thank the supporters i like to give a lot of shout outs to everyone who's subscribing and i appreciate that because without you guys i wouldn't be doing this all 5,000 of you guys so for today's video as you guys can see on the title we will be doing an installation on this beautiful piece of machinery here this is the four-way short shifter for Acuity from Acuity Instruments for the RSX base RSX type S and K swap vehicles and this is just a piece of work this is an insane and insanely looking shifter and when you guys try it out hit me up on the DM let me know how it goes because this this shifter right here the shifter I do right here will do <laughs> This shifter right here will change your life once you put it on the car. But anyways, I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step installation on this. I'm gonna remove this shift knob so we can do the installation the correct way. So we're gonna do a step-by-step -step installation. I'm gonna show you the tools that you're gonna need and I'm gonna show you how to put it on because it's very easy. This shouldn't take you no more than maybe half an hour to 35 minutes if you know, you're know you kind of mechanically inclined. Even if you're not that much mechanically inclined, it shouldn't take you that long because this with my video that I'm gonna upload to you guys and the Acuity Instruments guide to the installation it's pretty self-explanatory so let's get to it hope you guys like it i'll see you guys now and remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button on the channel it really helps a lot i'll see you guys let's get to it Alright guys, so we are here. I've already removed the OEM one. I removed the panel. Panel super easy. Just use the Acuity trimming tools that they gave you to remove panels. The plastic ones that I show you, the purple ones. This will be your first panel. This is the one that goes here. It is your 12 volt or cigarette lighter. Pop that one out. Pop it on the sides there for the panel. There's two screws next to the e-brake. They're actually down here. Two of them. And then just kind of lift it up and it goes from there. Now for the OEM one, there's four screws in total. There's four 12 inch or 12 size screws just remove those and for the plastic cables i mean for the cables is very easy you have a clip here that goes here on that cable hooked to the oem shifter so you use a screwdriver pop it up this one pops up this one you just have to twist and pull out and it will come out once it's on the oem shifter these cables are hooked by a pin that kind of looks like this this is the one that comes on the shifter you pull that pin out and move the clips move the cables to the side move this one to this side and they come out remember this one is twist and screw and it comes out and this one you have to pop up that clip which is right here just using a small flathead so your four screws pop the cables out and it should come out it's that easy give it a little cleanup and then we're going to go ahead and put the shifter in just kind of have to move the cables to the side you can move these to the side and then hold it let's we'll see if we're going to put them here yeah we're going to move it to the side and we are going to be sliding in the shifter which i already put the shift knob I'm going to be taking it off. You guys can see, and it does come with the washers and it does come with the screws. I'm going to show you guys what they. I'm going to show you guys now what they look like, and you slide it in right here, and that is easy, man. That is as easy as it gets. Actually, makes this a very easy installation. This is kind of like putting together a puzzle, you know. And then just put these in right here. Put these in right here. That Miami language keeps coming out. Line them up, and then these. If you look at the shifter. Mm -hmm right here i'm going to do a quick zoom in you can see right there that it tells you um it gives you like uh, 16 pounds of pressure 22 millimeters on the hex on the allen key and it tells you everything you need so the way that i do it is i put one there first then i go to here here and then i move to the other side i do it kind of like in a zigzag so let's go ahead and do that and it's just the reverse order for the cables and then we'll get into the details on how to adjust the shifter for best fittings for you or how you would like for it to be daily driven or for the track so let's jump on that i'm going to jump into a time lapse putting everything in and i'll get back to you guys now So now that's what I'm talking about. So this is the Allen key I'm using. I'm using that one and I am also using another one 
This one is just a little bit rusty, but it does the job. You also have the adjustment here for the shifter. I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Now for the cables, we'll bring it back this way. I can show you guys how is it you install these. This one goes on this side, and then this one goes on this side. We're gonna do it through here. So basically, you just have to push them back, slide them in, and they will fall in. Push it a little bit forward, and that is it. For the clip, you just put it in by your hand and then maybe give it a little couple of taps. I don't use a hammer, I use a screwdriver which has that little rubbery. Just tap it a couple of times and she is in and that's it. Now you remove the clip here on the side. Just got to remember that it does have a washer. You gotta be careful you don't use that washer. Move it back a little bit, slide in your cable, put the washer back in and then also use a little pin which by hand goes in, it's that easy. We're gonna do the same one for this one. Move this pin out the way, move the washer out the way, put them here on the seat, just so I don't lose it. Now this one is a little tricky because this one you have to move it, you have to twist it a little bit and it will go in. So I might have to come back to you guys after I put that one in. It's just basically a twist and slide into the side. You just have to play with it a little bit and then slide it here. All right guys, so once the cable's in, remember that it's just a twist and screw, it goes in there. You slide in the cable here, you have your little washer right here where you can see it, and then you just slide your pin and that's how she looks, she looks amazing, looks very good. Now for the adjustments on the shifter, let's get into it. Now we have the gate adjustment, gate adjustment is right here, you have your Allen screw right here. So basically you go up to decrease, you go down to increase. The gate adjustment is basically, we'll put it back in neutral, your left and right, uh, it's basically your side to side movement. Now if we go on this side, we have the adjustment for this cable as you can see here. This one, you aren't losing it. Move it up or down and that is how short you want the gears to be thrown. Now, if you adjust it in the sense that your gears are very short and it gets a little hard for you to throw the gears, then you slap on the Acuity way to shift knob. In this case, it would be the six speed shift knob to help you throw in those gears. And that's how it looks, man. Look how crisp that is. First, second, third, fourth, fifth and then we go into re well, six and then reverse and that looks perfect look at the mechanics on this thing this thing looks amazing very easy installed i already went ahead and torque it these down to 16 pounds 16 foot of torque and that's it that's about it i will be doing a small adjustment here and i will be doing a small adjustment here in order for my liking because maybe i like to extend a little bit the shift but it feels good man it really 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 feels and I can't talk today, like always in every video, I always get my words mixed up. It really feels like you're in a race car. Look at this, man. This looks amazing. Got the little grease there. Looks amazing. And I don't know if you could probably see, but you probably can't see too much. But there it is. Serial number one on this shifter. And I want to thank Acuity for doing that. That is amazing. Loving this collaboration. Thank you guys for collaborating with me. This installation couldn't go much easier. So that's about it. Right, guys so we are finally done with the shifter feels amazing look at that just the way you hear it going through the gears it's just so so notchy and so precise is amazing thank god that this is the route that i wanted to go with thank god that accurately jumped on board because we are doing a great collab and a great sponsor for you guys to see it and it just feels amazing for another video i will be taking the car out on the road i will be giving you a full review on the shifter and how it feels like for now, I am going to be rocking the shift, the six-speed shift knob that Acuity gave me, which is a weighted shift knob, but I also have my Spoon Sports uh, shift knob, which I like to put on from time to time. So I'm going to be switching those back and forth. For a further video, I will be showing you how to install the shift boot collar on the shifter, and that's going to be another video so you can see where the shift boot just kind of stays. For now, I might just rock it without a shift boot so I can check it out and see it. Later on, I might just put back the shift boot. Who knows? Maybe I'll put back the shift boot now. We'll see. Just depending on how it looks, but it, uh, how I feel. But it looks amazing. I love it. Great product. Pristine, pristine work. 
great customer service like always and if you have any questions please dm me do not hesitate to dm accurately and yeah that's about it this installation was very very easy four bolts in the bottom torque it down to 16 pounds of pressure hook up your cables and just do the adjustments as easy as that once again if you have any questions dm me or dm accurately uh, instrument they are very willing to help everybody with the great customer service they have let's go ahead and put back the panel and we should be over with thank you guys for tuning in let's jump into a time lapse and put back the panel All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. I hope you like this DIY installation step by step. If you have any questions, again, DM me or DM Acuity Instrument. I will leave a link below on the description where you can find the install guide that they have online. And you should be good to go. I'll see you guys on the next one.